So now it's time to test our MCS provisioned virtual desktop. In previous video, we have installed and configured Citrix receiver on one of client machine. And we logged in as Mark, and this is delivery group. So I'll double click on it and see what do I get. Uh-huh, there is something behind, oh yeah. Corporate VDI users connecting. Uh-huh, good. So I got welcome screen of my virtual desktop, which is running on Zen server. Provisioned by uh, delivery controller using Zen server. These are some of the preferences. If you want, how you want your screen to be, uh, you want to access your local drives from inside VDI, uh, what kind of access you want, how you want flash performance and your mic and webcam settings. So it's first time for Mark to log into uh, to log into this machine. So it's taking a while. It's preparing all required stuff. Okay, you just maximize this. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. Uh, let's go to the properties. Yep, it's a desktop, one of the desktop, Windows 7, you can see the name. Uh, one of the provision desktop, I mean. And it has all basic apps that I have installed earlier inside master image. Okay. Yep. Good. I'm starting Open Office Writer. Um, what I would like to do, I would like to create one test document. Um, to see uh, where it stores. Because if you remember, our machine catalog was static desktops with personal VDisk, right? So um, if I go to computers, I'll see two drives. Yeah, C drive. And if you notice, in master image, the C was 24 gigs, right? But here it's not 24 gigs. So what Citrix does, or Zen Desktop does, it just take enough of it, which is required to run OS. Because the changes will not be saved on D, it will be saved on P drive. All the changes that will be made, will be made by Mark, uh, including his profile settings, will be saved inside P drive. And here you can see the network drives, which are mapped uh, on local uh, machine, as well as the local drives of Windows 8.1 desktops are also available for access. See, it's asking what point for access you want. Read only or read and write. And if I click now, now I'm accessing C drive of Windows 8.1 machine from my virtual desktop. So very easy to transfer data from client to VDI and VDI to client. And not only local drives, even I can see on map drives it was the, well, those drives which were mapped on the Windows 8.1 machine. 
So my local drives are also available inside my VDI environment in addition to my personal VDisk. So let me write a document, a test document. Okay, I will save it. And I will save it inside documents, which is my documents. And as, and as you know, uh, my document is part of user profile, right? So after saving this file as test, if I go to computers, go to P drive, which is personal V disk, and I see users folder. And inside users, there is mark. And these are my folders. I click desktop, oh sorry, my documents. Here it is. So when I, as Mark, when I save this file, it saves into the into my documents folder. And my document folder is residing on P drive. And that's what personal VDs are all about, right? It saves your changes. Your changes, your profile settings. The profile stuff save, uh, gets saved on P drive. Okay, so let me show you over here one more thing. I switch to Citrix Studio. And you can see the machines. Over here, if I go to view machines, it will show me machine name status as well as the user who is currently logged in. And that user is Mark, right? Good. So this way I can see which machines are provisioned, what's their status, and who is logged in. Under sessions, I'll see all running sessions, and I can, what I can do, I can take some actions, like I can, I can log user off, I can disconnect user or send user message. So these few things I can do from here. So, so far, so good. Our Zen desktop is working fine. And this is the delivery group, just once again. Just to let you know that first you create machine catalog and then delivery group and delivery group. You specify users or group for which you want to assign those VDIs. Oh. So nice, good. So this is it guys. We have tested our VDI. Uh, we provisioned these VDIs using uh, machine creation services. And it's working well. And I'm also surprised with the performance by the way because I'm using nested virtualization. I'm using VMware Workstation to set up Zen server, and then inside Zen server, I'm using this VDIs, and the performance, it's pretty neat, even though I'm using very less resources for it. So good. Well done. So this is it. We have tested our VDI desktop. And once again, I would like to thank you for watching. And please do subscribe to my channel. And more videos to come.